Now, uh, just to complete that exercise on the grids, what we might do is change the bubble heads as well. So I'm going to pick that line and come good here. So you can see we're using the BG ANS grid head or 20 typical. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out of that and I'm going to go find it. So it's in my families down here. And there it is there, grid head. So I'm going to pick that, right click it, and I'm going to say edit. Now we've got our, our bubble here. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save as. Okay, and set a button in or 20 there. I'm going to put in a arc. Okay, so grid head arc. And uh, I will save that in, back into that, uh, into my families there. Now I'm going to pick my label. I'm going to edit the label. So the name is, that's all fine, but I'm going to change. It says it's the label of 4.5, but actually it's a size of five mil. I'm going to change that to, uh, to four mil. Okay. And again, I'm going to pick this, that gray color there as well. And we will go make sure it's transparent and everything. Mm -hmm. Apply and OK. The actual, uh, you can see that there's a parameter governing the size of the circle here. So let's go into the family types and we're going to change that to 5 mil. And OK, and that's good. And right now, I'm going to load that one uh, into the project. And uh, we're going to do something similar again here. So we take the, the original one. We'll edit that again and we're going to go file save as a family and then we will call this the end one okay and I'll save it into there again and it's going to be the same job we're going to edit type in the label here and we're going to change that to red and we're going to make this five and then up to the family types bring that back down to uh, five mil okay and i could even change that line color maybe i'm not quite sure if i can do this or not i don't think so um yeah i think it is as it is and now we might be able to come back and do something with that uh, line the way it's drawn or something like that don't see any references over here as to how I can change the color of that. I think you can do it though. Let me load that one into the project as well there. All right, so I'll pick my edge grid here and I'll add a type and I will swap that out for the edge typical apply. Okay, all right. And then I will pick this one and swap that out for the arc typical apply and okay. Now I've got my grids all set up and ready to go. Um, yeah, the, see the size of that, uh, I didn't I wonder what happened there. Let's see, let's get back into the uh, edge grid and let's uh, edit that. Okay, and did I change the size? I didn't, well, I did actually, it's a five, all right. meant to be four. Load that in and overwrite. Yeah. They're the same there now they are. Okay, so there's my architectural grid, my engineering grid set up.